In order to test our design on the A0 board, we want to implement a PLL with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different output and instantiate a clock counter, a 7 segment display driver and the 7 segment on the DA0 board. So this is the FPGA, we want to use the 7 segment display and the dip switch in order to change the input to the clock counter, the, uh, the clock test to the clock counter. We use the, the three uh, first dip switch, this one, one, two and three, and put the, the 16 bit of the clock counter on the seven segment display. Okay, let's see how to, how can we implement this, this design. This is the top level of our design, the FPGA, and we use a PLL. Now we will see how to implement a PLL using Quartus. So we have the PLL, the seven segment driver, and the clock counter frequency counter. So the board clock is connected to the input pin of the PLL. The PLL has the reset is active IG. So we will use the internal uh, asynchronous reset. So we, we have to note the board reset in order to reset the PLL the four PLL output, five PLL output are maxed using the dip switch, one, two, and three. So using the three dip switch, when the dip switch is zero, 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 we map the output zero, when it's zero, zero, one, the output one, and so on. As you can see, in, um, in the other uh, position, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on, the output is C4, I mean 30 megahertz. The lock pin of the PLL is mapped on LED 6. Now we will see how to implement the PLL using Quartus Mega Wizard plugin. Okay, let's see how to define how to define a PLL in Quartus. Run Quartus 2 and start Mega Wizard Plugin Manager. Create new custom Mega Wizard variation. Cyclone 3 and select the folder where we want to create our PLL, year zero, and create new folder, PLL. Call the file PLL.VHD, open, and go to IO. Alt PLL is one. Click next. The input frequency is 50 megahertz. Next. Uh, we want to create look at output, okay. We don't need sped spe spread spectrum clock. And switch over, no, okay. No need to reconfigure our PLL. Okay, let's select the output. The first output is 20 megahertz. So write down, sorry, 200 megahertz. Copy the multiply and division factor and go next. Use this clock. The second one is 150. 
by 0. It's possible 3 and 1, copy. Go ahead. The third one is 1, 1, 2, 0. 12, 5, copy. Next, use this clock. Enter clock frequency. 80. Copy. Next. And last one. 30. Copy. Next. Next. And finish. So, if we go on the PLL folder, we can see we have a PLL. Now the last step. We can close Quartus. OK. Let's go on the D80 folder and run Quartus click clicking on D80 clock frequency counter Quartus 2 project that you can download from the website. In this case we have already prepared the Quartus 2 project. Click Compile. In the meanwhile we can see the QSF file where we, we have already defined the Cyclone 3 family and FPGA. All the file we need to compile our design and the pinout of the design of the FPGA. Okay, Quartus is running. Okay, let's check the static analysis. We didn't give any timing constraint. But as we can see, the design can run at 400 megahertz. OK. We can check the RTL viewer. And in this case, we have the PLL, the clock max, the frequency counter, and the seven segment display driver. OK, let's program our FPGA. OK, let's test our FPGA. Remember, we want to test our clock counter. So we have to select the PLL output to see the result of the clock counter on seven segment display of the FPGA. So turn on the board and program the board. OK. As we can see, we read 4000. Let's compute what 4000 means. Remember, 2 to 11, 12 is 4096. <coughs> so, Let's compute 4000 is this number divided by 4096 means 4. Our board clock is 50 megahertz and sorry 4 by 50 megahertz 200. So select, this is the selected 0, 0, 0. Select 1. So switch on this one. 3, 0, 0, 0. 3, 0, 0, 0. Divided by 4, 0, 9, 6. 
equal to 3 by 15 150 going go ahead 0 1 2 so 2 is 1 0 we read we are reading 2668 2668 divided by 4096 equal to 2.4 by 15 50 200 120 this one 1 2 0 1 2 3 so turn on this one 1 9 9 a divided by four zero c nine six equal to one point point six by fifty equal to eighty this one and the last one all the other selection select the the last clock nine nine a nine nine a Two four five eight divided by four zero six nine six equal to zero point seven by fifty equal to thirty megahertz as you can see just just to test the reset if we reset the board as you can see the lock of the PLL is zero and then is one and that's it audio jungle, audio jungle.